Okay, so um, now I'm going to show you guys how to uh, do a motion tween and a shade tween in Flash. I'll just start with the motion tween. So uh, we'll first draw a shape, a rectangle, and uh, we're going to select it and group it. You can also do Control G. Now we'll uh, add, uh, like at frame 30. We're going to add a keyframe and move the shape somewhere else. Now we'll just have some uh, very bad animation. Just you see this rectangle and it pops somewhere else at frame 30. But what we want to do is make it move smoothly. And then you need to do a motion tween. Right click in between the two keyframes, select create motion tween now it looks like this a lot smoother always remember to make the object at the beginning at the first keyframe and at the last keyframe grouped or else it won't work okay now we're going to do shape tweening shape tweening looks a lot like motion tweening but to start with, we don't need to group it. Second of all, motion tweening only makes things move. While in shape tweening, it can also change shapes. First, I'll just demonstrate the moving. I add a frame, a keyframe at frame 30, and I move it somewhere else. Now I right click and I select create shape tween. It looks actually the same as the motion tween. The only difference is that with shape tweening we can also change the shape of it. So instead of having at the end an the same rectangle, we're going to add at frame 30 a circle. So I remove the rectangle at frame 30 and I add this circle. Now if I select create shape tween will smoothly go from this rectangle into a circle. That's it. Okay, well, I hope you learned something from it. Bye.